Hi all, Kyle AA0Z here. I wanted to do a quick video on how to load and configure N1MM for the Hamvention QSO party that is happening on May 16th, 2020. I'm on the web page right now. The Hamvention QSO party runs from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, the Saturday of the canceled Hamvention, uh, May 16th, 2020. You can operate CW or single sideband on 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. And the exchange is your signal report and the first year you attended Hamvention. If you have not attended Hamvention before and want to participate in the QSO party, you just give 2020. So I'm going to show you how to set up N1MM because it's a user-defined contest that you have to load before uh, creating the contest in N1MM. So let's get into it. If you click on the link below in the description, it's going to take you to this uh, setup user-defined contest. If you scroll down to uh, 1.68, Hamvention QSO party and you click on that it's going to bring you down further into the file where it's going to give the particulars of that contest. Click on the here button and it's going to bring you to another page where you can download the actual UDC file that you have to load into N1MM. So we will do that now. And there's a special place you have to put this in order for N1MM to find it when the program loads. You have to find your N1MM Logger Plus folder. Mine is in uh, My Documents. So if I navigate to N1MM Logger Plus and then I go to User Define Contests, you want to save that hamvent underscore qp dot udc file in that folder, which I just did. So the next step, you want to open N1MM, and I always like to put every contest in a new database. So I go to File, New Database, and I'm going to call this Hamvention 2020 USO, and I'm going to save that. So it just created a new database. And now I want to go and choose new log or file new log in database Hamvention 2020 QSO. And then it's going to bring up the screen for me to choose my contest. You type in or click the down arrow on log type and you want to scroll down to where it says Hamvent underscore QP. All right, so after you have chosen the Hamvent underscore QP log type, you need to come down here and choose uh, your operator status. Uh, usually I leave the bands to all. Power, high, low, QRP. Typically low power is 150 watts or below. High power is everything above. QRP is 10 watts or below. Mode, single sideband or CW, I would just leave that alone. Station fixed or if you're a rover, portable, uh, expedition. Uh, I'm not really sure. You have to check the rules on uh, what the categories are. Assisted or non-assisted, that's if you use spotty networks or if you don't use spotty networks. How many transmitters you have at your site that you're going to be using at one time. And then the send exchange, I'm going to put in here 2013 was the first time that I went to Hamvention. My operator call AA0Z and then I'm going to hit OK. And then this is the operator window, so I'm going to work N0 SSC. He gives me a 5.9. Oh, I'm on CW. Let's uh, let's go to single sideband. So I'm going to work Sterling N0 SSC. He gives me a 5.9. I give him a 5.9. And the first time that he went to Hamvention is 2001. And then I'm going to log him. It puts him in the log. So, so that's how you load user-defined contests in N1MM that are not loaded by default when you load the program. So get out there, make some QSOs, and we'll hear you on the air for Hamvention QSO 2020.